Hi there, Anthony from Contractors Debt Recovery back again, all right, with another instalment. Now, what we want to talk about today is serving under the Security of Payment Act that follow up notice that follows a claim, as you would or should know by now when you serve a claim and the respondent does not send you a payment schedule within 10 business days, you have to serve another notice before you can go to adjudication. In New South Wales, that's called a Section 17.2 notice. In Victoria, it's an 18.2 notice. In uh, Queensland, I think it's a Section 21.2 notice and so on around the other states, um, depending what section of the Act is the equivalent. Now, the biggest, one of the biggest mistakes in the whole process is contractors do not send that notice at the appropriate time. They send it early, all right? Um, they send a payment claim, wait 10 business days, no payment schedule comes from the respondent, and they send that notice immediately on the 11th business day, all right? And in many, on many occasions, that is too early, but of course, you don't know that until you've got to adjudication. The adjudication looks at all the documents and throws the whole thing out. Says so the process wasn't followed, I don't have jurisdiction. Now, let's just clearly understand when you should, or when you can serve these notices, all right? So, We've got here month one, month two, three, and month four, approximately. Okay. Let's say you serve a payment claim. Your reference date under your contract is claims are to be served on the 25th of the month. Very common. Let's let's adopt that. Okay. So I've served my claim on the 25th, and I need a payment schedule within 10 business days uh, from the respondent, which will take me to approximately approximately the 8th. Approximately 8th of the following month, that gap there being 10 business days, more or less. Okay, now let's say by the 8th you don't get a payment schedule. Well, what the acts around the country say is that the follow-up notice can only be served after the due date for payment. <coughs> I abbreviate that to DD4P. Can only be served after the due date for payment, not after 10 business days, after the due date for payment. So the big issue for you to consider is under this contract, when is payment due? Now, many contracts say claims in by the 25th, payment 30 days, um, end of month, which means that payment at the 25th here will be due at the end of month two, there. There's your due date for payment. Now, if that is the case, then you can only serve the notice after the 30th of that month. So let's say this is, let's say March, April, May, June. So you've served your claim on the 25th of March. The due date for payment is the 30th of April. Let's say you don't get a payment schedule. You then have to sit on your hands and wait till the due date of payment passes, 30th of April, and here, then you can serve your notice. And in most jurisdictions, you have a window of 20 business days after the due date for payment in which to serve that notice. You can serve it on the first day available or any time within that 20 business day period, okay? What you must know is your due date for payment. Now, in most jurisdictions, if there's no agreed due date for payment, then the due date for payment is 10 business days after the claim is received, which means that the date upon which the payment schedule is due is also the due date for payment. That means, in that scenario, sure, you can send that notice immediately after the next business day after the due date for payment because the 10 business days in which the schedule is due is also the 10 business days in which payment is due. Now that may apply, but often under contracts you'll have 45 days in a month, 30 days after the payment claim is served. So if you serve on the 25th your claim and your terms are 30 days, then it's due on the 25th of April. So you need to wait till the 26th of April or thereabouts, before you can serve that next notice. You have to wait till after the due date for payment. Now, very common mistake, contractors wait 10 days, and regardless of the due date for payment, the next day they just serve that notice and go on their merry way, and then the whole thing gets thrown out. Okay? So the purpose of this talk is just to make you aware that you have to wait till the due date for payment 
and then serve those notices only after the due date. All right. So I hope I've uh, made that clear with that uh, scribbly diagram, but it's a very, very important uh, part of using the Security of Payment Act uh, around Australia. All right, if you've got any questions, give us a call on the number at the bottom of the screen, or otherwise, we will see you next time. Cheers.